Hello, welcome to Lego Explorers at Dubuque County Library. My name is Miss Kayla, the children's librarian at the Dubuque County Library. So our April Lego Explorers theme is Across the Galaxy. I've got a short story and at various points in the story, there are challenges for you to build different objects um, from the story to help the characters. Uh, so I will get started by reading the first section of the story and then you at home can pull out your Legos and get building. Across the Galaxy, part one. Three, two, one, blast off. The rockets of the U.S. Star Chaser roared as the space shuttle launched. The three astronauts, Commander Evan Walker, Pilot Amelia Nelson, and Mission Specialist Steve Foster watched as the Earth fell away as their ship sailed through the upper atmosphere. After about two minutes, there was a loud bang and a flash of brilliant light as the boosters dropped away. The vibrations faded, instead replaced by an intense pressure like someone was standing on Amelia's chest. With the last thrust of the engines, the shuttle made it through the upper limits of the atmosphere and the pressure lifted from Amelia's chest. All three astronauts felt the strange sensation of weightlessness as they entered freefall. It looks like we have a successful launch, Commander Walker said. So your first challenge is to build the space shuttle, the U.S. Star Chaser. So you can pause the video here and restart it whenever you are ready to keep going. Part two. The year was 2047. NASA now had several space stations as far as Mars to study the furthest planets in the Milky Way. For the next several months, the U.S. Star Chaser would travel through space until it reached the new space station. From there, they'd be sending out space rovers to take pictures of Jupiter and Saturn and perhaps even beyond. It took about 150 days to reach the Martian space station about five months total. During the space journey, they would analyze data, report to mission control back on Earth, exercise to keep up their muscle strength in zero gravity, play games, read books, watch movies in space, and watch the amazing view of the endless space outside their windows. The days, weeks, and months passed. Evan, Amelia, and Steve were in the control room as they approached the space station. U.S. Star Chaser to Station Mars, Commander Walker said into his microphone. We are approaching. Please send us the confirmation that we are clear for landing. A few seconds passed, then a voice responded. Station Mars to U.S. Star Chaser. You are clear for landing. So your second challenge is to build the space station, Station Mars. Again, pause the video here, and when you are ready to continue, just start it back up. Part three. For the first time in five months, Amelia stepped off the U.S. Star Chaser onto Station Mars. Below them, they you could see the red planet they were now orbiting. Below, beyond it, Jupiter was visible as a bright light, like a particularly brilliant star. Steve tapped Amelia on the shoulder. Time to get Terra. They'll be ready to launch her soon. Steve and Amelia checked on the little rover, double checking all her parts and her camera to make sure she was ready to launch. Everyone gathered in the control room of Station Mars as they prepared Terra's lander rocket and counted down. There she goes, Steve said, pointing to the lander rocket dropping down towards Mars. They all watched the screen on the control panel that showed whatever Terra's camera screen saw. The rocket has successfully landed, Commander Walker said. Now let's see what Terra can show us. 
Your third challenge is to build the Mars rover, Terra. Again, pause and continue when you're ready. Part four. Everyone watched the screen excitedly. The screen blinked, then showed Terra's view of the dusty red surface of Mars. Steve controlled her camera, turning it this way and that so they could see Terra's surroundings. The little rover collected several samples of Mars rocks, loading them into her storage compartment with pincer hands. Later, Amelia stood looking out the window at Station Mars back towards Earth. It was just a faint dot on the distant sea of black, only slightly brighter than the stars surrounding it. They would remain at the space station for a few months, collecting data and pictures from Terra, and then it would be time to head back to Earth. Commander Walker and Steve joined her at the window a while later. Look at this amazing picture that Terra took just now, Steve said, handing the picture to Amelia. She took it and looked at the bright picture of Jupiter that Terra had taken from the surface of Mars. The giant planet was visible with its swirling orange, pink, and white gas and its huge red eye. That's amazing, she said. The three space travelers stood side by side, looking out into the galaxy. It really was amazing to be part of such a journey. So the fourth and final challenge for this month is to build a model of your favorite planet in the Milky Way in our solar system. So you could do Earth if you'd like, or maybe Mars, the red planet, or Jupiter with its red eye, or Saturn with the rings. If you don't care for that, you could also build something else that you uh, like the sound of in the story. So thank you very much for tuning in for LEGO Explorers this month. Uh, if you would like to join us ever for one of the live programs, we do it each month, um, usually two times a month. Um, our next month, April, is going to be Amusement Park will be our theme. And you can sign up if you want to attend the um, live programs at www.dubcolib.org. Also, if you watch this and want to... Um, share some pictures of the creations you made. We always love having pictures on our Facebook page of what our patrons are doing. So feel free to tag us on either Facebook or Twitter. Um, we'd love to see those pictures of the spaceship or the Mars rover, or the space station, whatever it is you built. So thanks for joining me today. Bye. <laughs>